With the end of Title 42, many migrants are expected to cross into the United States to seek asylum. And one of those places is Nogales, which is where we find Andrew Christensen near the Deconcini port of entry. But Andrew, you're not seeing as many migrants as other areas of the country. No, Heidi, that's exactly right. We haven't been seeing as many migrants as we expected passing through this area, but we have been seeing a lot of people passing through the port of entry, not just walking, but also driving through this area. Now, we haven't been seeing many migrants, but earlier this week I spoke with the sheriff of Santa Cruz County, David Hathaway, and he tells me he doesn't think there's going to be a big difference when it comes to migrants crossing illegally into Arizona, but he says sometimes at the border he will see them crossing at night. But he says migrants crossing illegally just isn't a very big problem overall here in Santa Cruz County. And I asked the chair of the Republicans of Santa Cruz County, David McEwen, about the end of Title 42, and he tells me he doesn't feel like local leaders are securing the border enough. The wall is a good deterrent. It's not a solution. I think there's got to be some international, international agreeing going on. And Sheriff Hathaway did take me to the wall Trump built. And he says when Title 42 was in place before it was lifted yesterday, migrant crossings did spike. Now, Customs and Border Protection says migrant encounters in Tucson have already shot up over 19% in the first six months of fiscal year 2023 compared to the first six months of fiscal year 2022. They say almost half of those expulsions are because of Title 42. And now that Title 42 is lifted, the mayor of Nogales, Jorge Maldonado, he tells me that he's not expecting to see as many migrants crossing illegally through ports of entry like this one, but he is expecting them to cross through gaps in the border wall. Reporting live in Nogales, Andrew Christensen, Kega 9 on your side.